near. Embraces you. Creature will die. The crown is not here. I'll look for it in another crypt. No. Nears. I have trained well.
This world can abide you no longer! The grave beckons. is nearby. Make a fine course. No, I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. When King Leoric came to court, he brought many nobles with him. And nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. 
So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make an easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha! <laughs> There's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, it seems. Interesting opponent. Grave Rock.
I've got some got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. From the east shall come a monarch whose rule begins in love. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. There. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. There is no higher calling than serving the balance. The priests of Rathma would welcome your aid. My dearest Heydrich, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you find your path. Love always. Mira. I wish that Leia could live a different life, a more normal life. But alas, such is not her fate. When I pass, there is not un but her to continue my work, and the future of this world hangs in the balance. Each of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife. Ending... Is there no justice in this world? Leoric bravely withstood Diablo's attempts to possess him, and look what he got in return. Madness and a cursed death. 
Many have suffered in these lands. It shall grow worse if we do not act. Did you hear? Old Rumford has a stand. Don't tell anyone. Look, I'm happy to sell to you, but you've got to promise not to tell anyone where you got these goods from, okay? Though I never knew him personally, I saw Leoric himself when he was building his manor. Ah, a troubled man, with a heavy burden upon his fragile mind. Is it any wonder that he built such a home for himself? What he needed was someone to teach him how to laugh once in a while. No, not here. I have retrieved the crown. Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the skeleton king, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. There is no other way to reach the fallen star, it seems. I would like to hear more about your grandfather, the Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. He made his choice then. Back at your forge already. Work needs doing. No one is going to do it for me. You were quite upset about Mira. I don't want to talk about my wife. Dead is dead and gone is gone. Do you want work done or not? Challenge.
darkness consumes you. I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my king. As we lay him to rest in his burial chamber, he manifested as a hideous skeletal demon. Gorash and my other knights were overcome at once, but I fought on. I'm afraid not. Maintain your incantations. He will soon turn. Ave Magistros. Ave Regio. I am free. Now, back to my mission. Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I must slay the Skeleton King. Then our aims align. Drag me past this glowing pit. What made down this way? He's free! Do not let him rearm! I am Korm, 
Tomac. Warrior of the Templar Order. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to... Fight your way. He passed John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt. You know what would take everyone's mind off their troubles? One of the Otis is great company. This creature will die. I'm afraid not. Black magic bars our way. You were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this coven? The coven is my brotherhood now, Cormac. The powers we... Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. Thank you for your aid. 
I will go with you on your hunt for the Skeleton King. But there is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. Do as you please. Such books do not interest me. Then onwards we go, to fight the Skeleton King. It is good to... With you again, I will use the well. Make a fine corpse. I tried to count how many we've killed, but I've lost track. Now I wander, cursed by my once beloved king. Evil gnaws at my bones, and I cannot risk putting my beloved Tristram in danger, should I fail to contain that which tears at me. I must venture down into the labyrinth, to die alone. A fine course. This
Might embraces you. Won't go down easily.
I do not understand how evil walks in the day. Should it not fear the light? You possess only a limited understanding. Keep your distance, Robin. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leon. Into my tomb! We shall put you down, Hellspawn! I cannot do that. I'm afraid not. Defeat me! <laughs> you were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. Glory.
will you use this? I need to go back. I've dug up some new things for you to take a look at. The news continues to worsen. How can you continue to wade into the fray with nary a thought for your own safety? It is madness. This is what I have trained for. Excellent. This will happen. The crater. This is unexpected. How did you come here? I am. I... I was. I... I remember falling. Who are you? I am not your enemy. Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness... The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. You must get to safety. Then we will find answers. I believed it was a fallen star, but in truth, it was only a man, and of course, his memories have vanished. Perhaps Deckard Cain will know more. I found him in the crater. No man could survive such a thing. 
Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news. But I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Tell me everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me. But it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The Goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the Goatmen to madness. It's possible. We'll have our answers once I retrieve the sword. Do you remember anything else yet? Only that there were surges of light and a kind of pain. You seem unwell. The emptiness gnaws at me. It is a constant frustration. There is no need for that. I will return the sword soon. The Herodrim were powerful mages gathered together by the Archangel Tyriel to defeat the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. They devoted themselves fully to the destruction of the Demon Lords and left behind valuable tomes and teachings. And you are connected to them, right? My ancestor was the leader of the Herodrim, Jared Cain. When the Herodrim died out, their tomes stayed in my family. I was thrilled by tales of the Herodrim as a little boy, but it wasn't until I returned to them as an adult that I realized they contained deeper truths. Tyriel is the Angel of Justice. He has been helping mankind for generations, though he is forbidden to do so in any direct manner. Long ago, the High Heavens and the Burning Hells made a pact as a result of the Sin War that they would not interfere in our world. So Tyriel is bound to his word, even though the demons have broken their pact. The Angiris Council, the Archangels that lead Heaven, almost destroyed our world once to keep the demons from spreading their corruption upon it. If Tyriel were to act directly, it would alert the Council to the Demon's activities here, and imperil us all! I have some- I like you! You know the true quality of my wares! Unlike some, did you see that stranger next to old King? Do not question the path you are on. It will lead you through things that will try your very soul. But you'll always have me to talk to. Talking is a waste of time. You pretend you are a rock, but I know the softness you don't want anyone to see. Why else would you continue to come and talk to Miriam? The attacks may be slowing down, but this time... Oh, perhaps it was a jewel that fell from the sky. Oh, did you ever consider that? I cannot say I did. Besides, we know now that it was a man. A man? Now that is strange. Uh, where do you suppose he came from? And how did he survive his fall? Uh, uh, did he have any jewels on him?
I'm afraid not. Let's see. Rampage. I can hardly believe it, but the falling star is a man. When Uncle Deckard realized this, he was crushed. I know he was hoping for something more miraculous.